Today we are going to be reading People, written and illustrated by Peter Spire. Now before we begin reading, I want you guys to take a look at the cover. And we know the title is People, so it probably is about people. But what about people do you think this book is? We see all these people. Are they all dressed the same? Do they all look the same? I want you guys to think about that. All right, let's begin. People. We all know that there are lots and lots of people in the world and many more millions each year. There are now over 6 billion human beings on Earth. And if it takes you one hour to finish looking at this book, there will be over 4,000 more. By the year 2050, there will be 9 billion people on Earth. If we all joined hands, the line would be 5,708,806 miles long and would stretch 229 times around the equator, or 24 times the distance to the moon. More than 6 billion people, and no two of them alike. Each and every one of us different from all the others. Each one a unique individual in his or her own right. We come in all sizes and shapes, tall, short, and in between. But without a single exception, we all began quite small. And we come in many colors. Even our eyes have different shapes and colors. What color are your guys' eyes? Mine are green. And noses come in every shape imaginable. So do faces, lips, and ears, and everything else. Think of our hair, from snow white to pitch black, straight, curly, kinky, and wavy. And a lot of people have no hair at all. People are funny. Some with straight hair want theirs to be wavy, and others with little curls want theirs straight. People all around our world wear different clothes, or none at all. All of us want to look our best. Still, what is considered beautiful or handsome in one place is considered ugly and even ridiculous elsewhere. Would you guys ever look like that and come to school? I don't think I would, but I think he looks pretty good. Some of us are wise, some of us are foolish, but most of us are somewhere in between. Most people are decent, honest, friendly, and well-meaning, but some are none of these. Some of us love noise, whereas others simply cannot stand it. And not everybody's idea of a good time is alike. People everywhere love to play, but not the same games everywhere. In the US, we go to the rodeo. Have any of you guys ever been to the rodeo? I have not, but it looks pretty cool. Our tastes are as different as day is from night. The homes we build are all varied as well, but we all need a roof over our heads. Look at this one's an igloo. Would any of us ever live in an igloo? I think it would melt. What makes some people laugh makes others cry. Some of us excel at things others could never do. Many of us like doing things with others, while some like being by themselves. We love and keep all sorts of pets, and we celebrate different feasts and holidays. What kind of pets do you guys have at home? I have cats and dogs. Well, look, some people have monkeys. I do not have a monkey. And the things we like to eat are not the same. What people in one place consider a delicacy, others would never touch, let alone eat. And the foods some people eat or drink are forbidden to others. In Africa, they eat elephant. Would you guys ever eat elephant? I'm not sure that I would. We practice nine main religions, and there are thousands of others as well. Many people believe in one God, and millions of others believe in many gods, and many millions more do not believe in anything at all. all right. 
most of us have to work for a living, and there are more different ways of doing that than you would believe. Most people work hard, but others are lazy, and a lot of people who want to work cannot find a job. And some of us are rich, although most are not, and very many are desperately poor. Almost everybody can speak, but there are 201 different main languages spoken on Earth, not to mention the countless variants and dialects spoken by smaller groups. And deaf people can communicate in silence through sign language. Do any of you guys know sign language? Not nearly all the world's people can read and write, yet there are almost 100 different ways of doing it. What if you guys turned into a paper to Miss Brooks written like this? Do you think I could read it? I think I would have to learn that language first. Some people, but very few, are mighty and powerful, although most of us are not mighty at all. Yet we have invented a strange system of ranks, grades, and classes. Yet we all live on the same planet, breathe the same air, and warm ourselves in the same sun. And in the end, we all must die. A few of us are remembered long, long after we're gone, and even that in countless different ways. See here we have Shakespeare. We remember him with all of his plays. And here we have the JFK airport for John F. Kennedy. Six billion human beings, young and old, sick and well, happy and unhappy, kind and unkind, strong and weak. People are everywhere and all different. It is very strange. Some people even hate others because they are unlike themselves, because they are different. They forget that they too would seem different if they could only see themselves through other people's eyes. But imagine how dreadfully dull this world of ours would be if everybody looked, thought, ate, dressed, and acted the same. That does not look very fun, does it? Now, isn't it wonderful that each and every one of us is unlike any other? The end. All right, now let's think back to the beginning when I asked you to think about what people meant and what all these people might have in common. Well, they don't. That's the whole point. They're all different. And through this book, we now know that each and every one of us are unique individuals. And rather than be upset that we're different or make fun of others for not looking the same, we should all celebrate our differences. Because remember, if we all were the same, it'd be pretty boring. So we're very lucky that we can all celebrate each other's differences.